a great day that we thank the good Lord for our brothers Alan, Anthony, and Alex as they take their vows to be fully members of the congregation of the mission. We thank the Lord for the gift of their parents, the gift of their confreres, the gift of their formators, who in one way or another went an extra mile to help them in this journey of serving the good Lord as Vincentians in the congregation of the mission. Tupige makofi tafadhali tukiomba Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kuwabariki hawa ndugu zetu watatu Alan, Anthony na Alex siku hii ku wanapomtolea Mwenyezi Mungu ahadi ya kuweza kumtumikia kama wana Vincent we thank the lord for the gift of these our brothers as they take their vows to serve the good lord as Vincentians the Eucharistic celebration being led by our regional superior, Reverend Father Edwin Mugwe, who is the superior of Kenyan region.
God is good. And all the time. Right, Father Ignatius, who is our rector and superior of DePaul Center, in a special way to welcome our original superior to lead us in the Eucharistic celebration. Karibu Padre. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. I want to take this opportunity to welcome you all to the post center. I want to welcome the conquerors of the congregation of the nation. I want to welcome all our students. I want to welcome the daughters of charity. I want to welcome the parents and relations of Anthony, Alan, and Alex to the post center. I want to welcome the religious sisters who are here. I want to welcome priests who are here, brothers who are here, friends to Alan, Alex, and Anthony. And I want to welcome in a very, very special way our regional superior, Father Edwin Mugwe, Father Edwin Mugwe to preside over the Eucharist today. Karibu. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear friends, we are gathered here to worship the Lord together, to give thanks for the gift of vocations. We would like to pray with our brothers, Alan, Anthony, and Alex, who are going to take vows in the congregation of the mission. I'd like also to pray in thanksgiving for the gift they are from their families. We'd like to pray for their families as well. Let us pray for our community. Let us pray that good Lord may always guide us to fulfill this mission. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
let us pray. O God, who will that the grace of baptism should flourish in this your servants, so that they might strive to follow more closely in the footsteps of your Son, grant, we pray, that constantly seeking evangelical perfection, they may add to the holiness of your church and increase her apostolic zeal through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of our Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the book of Samuel. There was a man of Benjamin whose name was Kish, the son of Abel, son of Zerah, son of Bekorath, son of Aphir, a Benjaminite, a man of wealth. And he had a son whose name was Saul, a handsome young man. And there was not a man among the people of Israel more handsome than he. From his shoulders upwards, he was taller than any one of the people. Now the donkeys of Kish, Saul's father, were lost. So Kish said to Saul, his son, Take one of the servants with you and arise. Go and look for the donkeys. And they passed through the hills, country of Ephraim, and passed through the land of Shalisha. But they did not find them. And they passed through the land of Shalim, but they were not there. Then they passed through the land of Benjamin, but they did not find them. When Samuel saw Saul, the Lord told him, he is the man whom I spoke to you. He is, he it, he it, is who shall rule over my people. Then Saul approached Samuel in the gate and said, Tell me where the house of the seer is. Samuel answered Saul, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place. For today you shall eat with me, and in the morning I will let you go. And I will tell you what it is on my mind. Then Samuel took a veil of oil and poured it on his head, and kissed him and said, Has not the Lord anointed you to be the prince over his people Israel? And you shall reign over the people of the Lord, and you will serve them from the hand you will save them from the hand of their enemies round about. The word of the Lord.
has sent me to preach good news to the poor, to proclaim release to the captives. according to Mark. Mark chapter 2. At that time, Jesus went out again beside the sea, and all the crowd gathered about him, and he told them as, if, as he passed on, he saw Levi, a son of Alivius, sitting at the tax office. He said to him, Follow me. He rose and followed him. And as he sat at the temple in his house, men tax collectors and sinners were sitting with Jesus and his disciples. For there were many who followed him, and the scribes of the Pharisees, when they saw that he was eating with sinners and tax collectors, said to his disciples, Why does he eat with the tax collectors and sinners? And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Let us all be seated and uh, listen to the homily by our main celebrant, who is also our regional superior, Karibu Father. So, dear brothers and sisters, today we are gathered here, as I said at the beginning of this Mass, to give praise and worship to God in thanksgiving for vocations in our congregation. We come to witness these are our three brothers, Alan, Anthony, and Alex, take vows in the congregation of the mission, and these three will be incorporated into the congregation for the rest of their lives. We all acknowledge the immense love and mercy of God in calling our brothers and calling us too in our vocations to participate in Christ's saving mission through the service of the poor. Today, we all trace our vocation journeys, acknowledging that we have been considered full and worthy. That is the theme of today's gospel. We are sinful. We are all sinners, yet our good Lord has found favor in us. In today's gospel, we see crowds coming to Jesus. People are coming to listen to him preach the word, preach the kingdom. People are gathering to be healed. People are coming to be cleansed of their unclean spirit. This is the mission and purpose of Jesus, to come and draw people, particularly sinners, those who are burdened. He has come to call us who are sinners and that we may become his disciples. And in today's gospel, we see Levi 
following him, though he was a tax collector. And who was a tax collector in these times? He was a despised person. He was terrible. He was a man of bad reputation because of dishonesty, because he was oppressing others, because he was an extensionist, he was a corrupt official. Yet Jesus called him. Let us think about what Jesus actually did. Jesus not only invited Levi to follow him, but he dined with him. He entered his house. And in that house, there were other collect tax collectors, many other sinners, people who had gathered in that house to experience the mercy and goodness of our Lord. There are so many tax collectors in this house until the scribes are scandalized. And they are bringing up this conflict. Why does he eat with tax collectors? with cheats, with dishonest people? Why is he interested in people who are not good in our society? And listen to the response of Jesus. I came to call sinners. I came to draw them closer to me. The message of the gospel is that we are all sick the message of the gospel is we are in need of the Lord. We are condemned by sin, as Romans chapter 3 says. Why are these scribes then thinking that Jesus is doing the wrong thing? Because they are thinking they are righteous. Yet Jesus is so much interested in drawing people who are burdened, people who recognize their brokenness. He says, he comes to call those who are lost, he comes to call those who are in need, those who acknowledge that they want to be helped. And Jesus is not merely preaching repentance. Jesus is befriending those who are sinners, those who acknowledge that they are in need. You know, the favor from the Lord is not for those who are pretending to be fine, but those who need restoration, who wants to be reconciled to God. And as someone of the mount begins, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. If we think that we are righteous, then we are not in need of Jesus' mercy. But we, if we find ourselves in need of him, in need of his forgiveness, in need of his authority, then we are truly called. When you are broken down by your sins, when you feel you cannot do this, when you feel you cannot bear it anymore, think about our Lord. He is interested in you. He will give you his grace to persevere in everything. And when you listen to his word, when you listen to his invitation to follow him in this vocation, instead of feeling that you are righteous, you should be cut to the heart by your own sins, by your own limitations, and think about the grace of God. Anthony, Alan, and Alex, today is a formidable and frightening, joyful and thankful day because, dear brothers, guided by the Holy Spirit and under the formative influence of St. Vincent, our founder, you will make your vows. You demonstrate that you are in need of our Lord. You will demonstrate that you are limited beings, yet 
you want to follow Jesus. You are choosing a path of Christian discipleship, a path that will be marked by celibate chastity, communal poverty, and obedience to superiors, to the rule of life, and above all, to Christ. You are choosing a path, leaving behind other options. The path you are choosing is unusual. It is strange. It is very countercultural. The life you are choosing is wild, but regimented, disciplined, but free, lonely, but bursting with overflowing love. You will be in the world, but not of the world. Detached from many things, but engaged in the sufferings and injustices of the world. In community with fellow brothers. In extended community with a large Vincentian family. Like to make note of a double family. You be steeped in reflection on the word of God, in silence and in prayer, having a peaceful but feverish life. Yet, you need to have the community to learn from Mary, our lady of the miraculous medal, who was the first disciple. And this, you will help the world to bring reconciliation, to bring justice, to bring peace and faith, to witness to the risen Christ among many poor people in a world. You're also taking vows at a time when we are transiting to become a vice province. You are our first fruit. Take heed to contribute to the growth of this community and soon to be the vice province of Kenya. Now, in our world today, Vows can simply be seen as renunciations. However, they are more than that. For poverty, chastity, obedience, and for us, Vincentian stability, each in its own unique way, is a specific acceptance of the mystery of Christ lived out within the church. These vows do not constrain our limit or limit our freedoms, but they make true freedom possible. Poverty frees us from burdens of possessions. Chastity liberates us from slavery to vice. Obedience gives us the freedom to serve, while stability in the congregation cements our commitment to remain in our congregation for the rest of our lives. Do not be concerned with your own autonomy. Be jealous of your freedom. You are not losing your independence. Though you are signs of contradiction, acknowledge your need for God, like Levi in the gospel today. God is our goal, his word the light, his will the guide. Saint Vincent, our founder, hoped that through pronouncing these vows, missionaries would renew and deepen the gift of themselves to God for the service of the poor. And later, even in time of trial, they would be strengthened by recalling that they had committed themselves for life to this service. And these are not a matter of personal piety. They are arms, weapons to equip the missionary to serve the poor zealously and perseveringly. Like poverty. St. Vincent talks about poverty, saying poverty is our foundation stone. He uses the warfare language, calling it unbreachable rampant, by which the congregation will be preserved forever. And he encourages the confreres to place before them the example of Jesus Christ and also the apostles 
and the first Christians. And Jesus makes it the first of the beatitude and the condition of perfection. He urges the members to have a deep, affective love for poverty and also to put it into effective practice. Poverty will liberate confreres. They will be willing to go anywhere and to do anything to brave all hardships. And if they are attached to nothing, see they are attached to nothing, and without this virtue, they will not persevere in the company. Chastity. Jesus loved chastity deeply, and he desired that the hearts of his followers be filled with it. There are two vices I would like to mention that can compromise a vow of chastity. That is intemperance and idleness. Intemperance and idleness. Always be occupied. Give yourself to prayer. Prayer to our Lord, to the Blessed Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal, and to the saints. Obedience. For Vincent, obedience involved profound renunciation of judgment and will, and is part of the overall gospel called to self-denial in following Christ. Missionaries should develop the habit of indifference, observing the congregation's long-standing custom, ask for nothing and refuse nothing. But if before God, you really think that there is something necessary or conversely is doing some harm, lay that matter before the superior. And they, when this is done, Please regard the superior's decision as a sign of God's will. Stability. Persevere in the congregation. Persevere in the congregation. There is no better way, St. Vincent says, than to assure our, our eternal happiness that we have lived and died in the service of the poor within the arms of providence real renunciation of ourselves, following Jesus Christ in the congregation. Dear brothers and sisters, let us pray for our brothers. To our umbe, hawa ndugu zetu, wanakitaji msaada wa mwenyezi mungu na neema yake. Atakapo chukua na adhiri katika shirika letu na kitume la mtakatifu Vincent wa Paulo tachukua nadhiri za useja usafi wa moyo tachukua nadhiri au maskini au maufukara tachukua nadhiri ya kuti na nadhiri ya kuishi katika shirika letu maisha yao yote tuombe waweze kuishi wito huu Tuwaombe kwa jiru wana hitaji ni binadamu. Wana hitaji neema. Na wao tunawapea changamoto wazidi katika maisha ya sala. Unyenyekevu, kumsikiliza mwenyezi mungu, hayo maisha ya utawa yanawafaa zaidi kwa ni Mungu amewaita Mungu amewaita na wameitika wito nasi pia tujiombee siku ya leo tuna wito katika maisha ya utawa maisha ya familia Mwenyezi Mungu aweze kutuonea huruma sisi ni la we are very weak we lose ourselves lakini Mwenyezi Mungu anatupenda na anatuonea huruma. Tuombe na Mtakatifu Vincent by siku ya leo furaha nyingi sana. Sio tu kwake bali kwa watakatifu wote. Maana 
wito katika maisha utawa niwie ni furaha ni zawadi katika huduma ya kanisa na huduma ya ulimwengu basi tuombe tuchukue muda mfupi tutafakari kwa yale ambayo tumeyasikia kutoka kwa mahubiri Let's take a short moment and reflect on all that that we have heard from the homily. Now we'll prepare for the taking of vows and our brothers will come in this order. First we'll have our brother Alan Kamugisha of the Congregation of the Mission followed by our brother Anthony Kioko Mudoka of the Congregation of the Mission and lastly our brother Alex Odi Otieno of the Congregation of the Mission. Kariboni. Of the congregation of the mission, it's by my intention of faithfully dedicating myself to the congregation of the mission. For the whole time of my life, to the evangelization of the poor, and for the example of Christ evangelizing. Therefore, I propose to observe with the help of your grace, chastity, poverty, and obedience. According to the constitutions and the statutes of our institute. Lord my God, I, Anthony Kiyoko Mudoka, of the Congregation of the Mission, declare my intention of faithfully dedicating myself to the Congregation of the Mission for the whole time of my life, to the evangelization of the poor after the example of Christ evangelizing. Therefore, I propose to observe with the help of your grace, chastity, poverty, and obedience, according to the constitutions and the statutes of our institute. Lord, my God, I, Alex Odie Otieno of the Congregation of the Mission, 
declare my intention of faithfully dedicating myself in the congregation of the mission for the whole time of my life to the evangelization of the poor after the example of Christ evangelizing. Therefore, I propose to observe with the help of your grace, chastity, poverty, obedience, according to the constitutions and statutes of our institutes. What will follow now is the signing of the certificate of vows. After I solemnly taking their vows, so we start with Alan. saidi baada ya kuchukua nadhari zake za kuweza kumtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu kama mwana Vincent After Alan has signed our regional superior also will pen his signature as a witness for what has just taken place Then we'll follow our brother Anthony Kioko Mudoka we will also append his signature on the certificate of vows. Then once again, our regional superior will also do the signing. Last we'll have our brother Alex Odi Otieno, CM, will also append his signature after taking of his vows. Then again, our regional superior, Padre Edwin also impairs his signature on the certificate. Then we'll have the handing over of the certificates to our brothers. Superior Father Ignatius of the Paul Center, who surpends his signature. As we now prepare to hand over to them also the cross, the Vincentian cross, the one that they will carry for the rest of their lives as they serve the good Lord as Vincentians in the congregation of the nation. that reminds the other confers the day when they took their vows I can just see them smiling solemnly Now comes the part of uh, our regional superior handing over the certificates to our brothers, beginning with Alan Kamugisha CM. Alan receiving his certificate from our regional superior, followed by 
our brother Anthony Kioko Madoka. And lastly, our brother Alex Odi Otieno. Great celebration goes once again being done by a Kenyan regional superior. Initially, we had Mzungu. Then lastly, what follows now is handing over of the cross, the Vincentian cross, that they'll be invited to carry for the rest of their lives. Begin again with uh, our brother Alan Kamgisha receiving the cross from the regional superior. Then our brother Anton Kiyoko Mudoka, then lastly our brother Alex Odi Otieno, now fully incorporated as Vincentians in the congregation of the mission. Makofi Kadali. Makofi Kadali. So they will, together, let us all stand, congratulate them as they wave to us after the taking of their vows. To Asali Mutfadali. Makofi Kwao, Makofi Kwao. Thank you very much, thank you very much our brothers, and now we will continue with the offertory. And it's a dark.
pray, dear brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive the gifts and intentions of your servants, O Lord, and confirm in your love those who profess the evangelical counsels through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. He is the unblemished flower who sprang from the root of the Virgin and declared the pure of heart blessed, teaching by his way of life the surpassing worth of chastity. He chose always to hold fast what is pleasing to you and becoming obedient for our sake even until death, he willingly offered himself to you as a perfect and a fragrant sacrifice. He consecrated to a fuller service of your majesty those who for love of you leave all earthly things and promised they would find treasure in heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he saved the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, St. Vincent de Paul, St. Louis de Marillac, St. Catherine Laboré, St. Justin de Jacobis, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world, be pleased to confirm in faith and charity with your pilgrim charge on earth, with your servant Francis our Pope, Philip Agnolo our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you've gained for your own. Strengthen, strengthened in their holy resolve, O Lord, these your servants who today are bound themselves to, your perpetu to you perpetually in the sacred bond of religious provision, and grant that they may show forth in your church the new and eternal life purchased for us by Christ's redemption. Listen, gracious, the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are blessing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, Gracious, we grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Gracious, we grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed.
tuwe na ukimia kidogo tuweze kutafakari yale mafumbo matakatifu ambayo tumeyashiriki Shukrani. Sama sote tuweze kuimba tumshukuru Mungu kwa ajili ya kipaji cha hawa ndugu zetu watatu Alan, Anton na Alex. Tumshukuru Mungu kwa siku hii kubwa ambayo umechukua na gari zangu. Ndio uweze kujitia Mwenyezi Mungu kama wanavyosema.
for the final prayer. Having received with reverence the divine mysteries, we humbly beseech you, Lord, to inflame with the fire of the Holy Spirit these your servants, bound to you now by an act of sacred offering, and to admit them forever to the company of your Son, who lives and reigns with forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Friends, you have come to nearing the end of the Eucharistic celebration where we have celebrated the taking of vows of our brothers Alan, Alex, and Anthony. Makofi kwa odafadali. Clap well, I've not heard. Yeah, I want to thank each and every person in one way or another has graced this occasion, beginning with our regional superior, their parents, my brother Confras, and each and every person who is here today. We'll have very few speeches because, as you can see, the Lord has been so good to us. Even the heavens have changed the color, and soon we'll receive rain that I believe because of the vows of these guys. So we'll have uh, a total number of around five people who will give speeches. In this order, we'll have uh, one of the vowed members, after whom we'll have one of the parents, then one of the daughters of charity, then uh, our rectum superior, who will in turn invite our regional superior to give his final remarks. And after our vowed member has had his uh, remarks, I'll invite the deputy head student who will give his present to them before we invite the first guardian who will talk. Alex, you're most welcome. Karibu. Our regional superior, Father Edwin Mugwe Irungu, Father Rector Ignatius Mkanzi, we call him Father Babu. The formators surround, Vincentian priest, seminarian, sisters, religious men and women, our parents, and people of goodwill. God is merciful. God is and all the time. God is merciful. Indeed, this is the day that the Lord has made. And we are so happy to have you around to come and witness this great day into our lives and the lives of the congregation of the mission. One thing we should always say to God is to thank him. Nothing happened outside God's timing. This is the day the Lord has made. This is the timing that the Lord has made. He has brought us through before and we have hope that will take us through again. Indeed, this is the moment that we are living one of our prayers. This new year comes with immense blessing, many graces and gifts from the Lord. For sure, what else can we ask the Lord near Sunday too? God works in mysterious ways. I can assure you that. For your being here, you've come to witness the wonders of the Lord. And we're telling the nation present here the wonders that the Lord has done to us to this level. As Vincentian, we realize we are committing ourselves to the evangelizing of the poor for the whole time of our life. For us, the purpose of vows is an invitation to intensify fidelity and to set ourselves in the hands of Jesus as servants of the poor. Today we commit ourselves. Today 
with the newly incorporated Alan, Anton, and I, we commit ourselves, we say yes. As we say yes, we surrender our personal project to the higher project, to the divine project, the project of God, which is realized in the charism of congregation. Evangelizare po perubus visit me. He has sent me to bring good news to the poor. Today we sing yes to dispel the spirit that may tempt us to say that sisi hatu panguingui. Today I say on behalf of my brothers, yesu sisi tunapangika. Yesu sisi tunapangika. Our regional superior, sisi tunapangika. Our rector, sisi tunapangika. Our dear conference, my brothers, sisters, sisi tunapangika. Tunapangika for the sake of the kingdom of God. Uh, today we also realize uh, in living the vows faithfully, we need to listen to God's voice in the directives of our superiors, dialogue with the conference, and in our discernment, we pray and depend upon the divine providence to guide us in truly living the vows in the Vincentian way of life and the entire church. We invite the divine providence, we invite the Holy Spirit to breathe into us, to protect us, to defend us, to seduce us, and to always be with us for the sake of the kingdom of God. To my brothers, Alan, Anthony, and I, this is our message. Today we want to realize that we need to be humble enough to know that we can lose it all. But most importantly, we need to be confident enough to know that we can gain it back. And this calls us to respond to one of the Vincentian virtues, humility, humility, humility. We be humble enough, please, brothers. And to our brothers in initial formation, those who are following us, this is our message to you. We encourage you to do your part. Give in your effort, and for sure God will bless your effort. At this juncture, allow me to thank, to express our heartfelt gratitude to the following group of people. Very Reverend Thomas Maverick, the General Superior of the Congregation of the Mission, the Provincial of the Western Province, Father Patrick, Father Patrick McDavid, the Assistant Provincial, Father Thomas, we really thank them for their support in our region of Kenya. We also thank our regional superior, Father Edwin, for leading us through these VAUMAS. Tunamshukuru pia wa Father Rector na maformeta ama wazazi wa lazy katika nyumba hii ya malezi kwa kutujali, kutuongoza, hadi tumefika hatua ino. Pia vile vile na penda kwa shukuru ndugu wa Navincendi, Mapadi na Mabruda na wa seminari the daughters of charity kwa support yenu kwa mchongo wenu katika wito wetu pia vile vile na washukuru wa vile ama wazazi wetu familia kwa ujumla marafiki wanafunzi wenzetu ma lecturers wetu kwa support yenu ambayo umetupatia katika hii safari hatujafika bado safari ipo ndio maana siku ino kwa niaba na ndugu zangu naomba mzidi kutuweka katika dua zenu ama katika sala zenu ili Mungu Mwenyezi alianza hii safari naye pia aikamilishe kwetu tunawatakia baraka na irinjema asandeni Santa sana makofi makofi kwa ndugu Alex yeah, you will agree with me that he has some signs that he has been in school. Yeah, his confidentiality na uwe lady wa luga, nugu na kwa mbae kila na heri. Kwa mba, uje wakati ujao uzugumuze jinsi na uwe zungumuze. Mwesikia mzee. Asante ni sana. So, we will invite the deputy head student. Very fast, we will give them the present from the students before we go to the next speaker. Tafada ni njoni yapa. Njoni mkapoke. Kwa enda nikapata magai. 
So there's a present from the student's body to thank them for having made this great step and wishing them well. So the council pray for them to follow suit. That one giving is the deputy head man of this class. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, hapangwingwe. Makofi, makofi. Asante sana. Thank you very much. The person who will uh, share a word next is one of the guardians, the guardian to Alex. Mze Johnson, Karibo Ndogo. Asante ni Natoa sukrani kwa ajili ya niaba ya wasasi wa Alex, Anton na Alan. Nachukua nafasi hii kuwashukuru Mungu kwa kwa kwa, i, kwa ita na kuwaongoza hadi kwa safari hii tumefika. Nawashukuru wa pili Nashukuru walezi wao wa Famidias kwa kuwalinda na kuwa kuwalea vizuri. Mungu abariki sana. Mungu abariki sana. Kwa wazazi wenzangu, ni safari ndefu watoto wetu wametoka. Lakini tunazidi kuwaweka kwa ajili ya maombi ili wasidi kuendelea wamalize safari ambayo wametoka mbele. Kwa hivyo tuungane pamoja tuombe waza, watoto wetu kila mara. Asante ni. Tuna tunazidi kuwaomba sana ili Mungu azidi kuwabariki kadili uwezo, uwezo wao. Asante ni na Mungu awabariki sana. Ni mimi Johnson Odada mzazi wa Alex Odada Utieno. Asante sana tupigie mzee wetu makofi 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 Asante sana Next I'll invite uh, one of the daughters of charity Daughters of charity kwa wale ambao hawajui hawa ni E, ni daughters ambao e, tunashirikiana nao katika hii dhana ya kueneza neno lake Mwenyezi Mungu jinsi ambavyo mtakatifu Vincent wa Paulo na Louis de Mara la Goliva tu amuru sana hiyo asante by chance or by providence I am here for this day and I am very happy to be here and to congratulate Alan, Alex and Anthony on making their vows. It's a very, very special occasion for the congregation and for each of you. I've known these young men since the first day they came to the congregation and in fact I taught them during those first few weeks all of which they've since forgotten. <laughs> but it's of no consequence. I'm just happy to see them. I followed their progress through the congregation this day, and I prayed for each of you, and I would continue to pray for you as you go forward and hopefully move towards ordination. So it is a very special day, a day of God's blessing, and the vows incorporate you into the congregation. You've become full members now and you've made your commitment before all of us, which also obliges us to continue to pray for you, to support you, and the Lord is sending the rain, which is good. Um, I also want to congratulate you on behalf of Sister Liz. She cannot be here today. She was diagnosed with COVID. She has been isolating for the last 10 days. She tested negative yesterday, but obviously she doesn't want to come out just yet. 
So she sends you her prayers and good wishes. On behalf of all the sisters here who, and all the sisters who couldn't be here today, they also uh, congratulate you. So may God bless you in everything you do. I know you will do good work and you will support and um, work for the congregation and work for the people that you were sent to serve and continue to be servants, especially servants of those who are most in need. And I wish you well. Next, I'll invite our rector and superior of the Paul Center, who will in turn invite our regional superior also to give his remarks. Makofi, bye. God is good and all the time. Mungu ni mwema na kila wakati. Indeed God is so gracious to us as the congregation of the mission. What a blessing. A trinity. What a blessing. Tumpikie Mungu makofi tafadhali. And we congratulate you. Alan Kamgisha, Anthony Kiyoko, and Alex Odi. Makofi Kwao. I want to speak on behalf of the formation team here in Depot Center. In these three of our brothers, we have learned the spirit of discipleship. Kwa hawa ndugu zetu, watuko zetu, tumejifundisha jenzi ya kuwa wanafunzi. And indeed, we've learned to be true disciples. To listen good enough. To learn and to follow. They are gifted. And they have taught us as a formation team. As their senior conference, they have taught us to listen good enough to God's divine communication to us. They have helped us to keep learning and have refreshed and animated our spirit here in this community. And finally, Alex, Alan, and Anthony have taught us how to follow Jesus Christ, the evangelizer of the poor. And this spirit of discipleship has animated me today as Alan, Anthony, and Alex have taken vows, have made their vows, and have dedicated themselves to God's call. Thank you, and be assured of our prayers. For our senior conference in the community, thank you for your moral support. Thank you for your prayers. For all the daughters of charity, thank you for your moral support. Thank you for your prayers. For all the sisters, priests, brothers who have come, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your moral support. For Vincentian brothers, thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your moral support. For family members who are here, Asanteni Sana, Kokualea Hawa Toto, Ni watoto wazuri, ni watoto watiifu. Na sasa hivi siyo watoto, ni ndugu zetu. Tuna waenzi. Na tumejifundisha mambo mengi kupitia kwa hawa ndugu zetu, Alan, Anthony na Alex. Tumejifundisha jinzi ya kumsikiza Kristu. Tumejifundisha jinzi ya kujifundisha kutoka kwa Kristu. Na tumejifundisha tena jenzi ya kumfata kristu anayewahubiria maskini habari njema. Last but not least, I want to appreciate in a very special way our conferences who have molded our conferences here, Father Pat McDavid, 
our provincial superior. Thank you for the tremendous support you've given to our conference, Alex, Alan, and Anthony. Father Tom Esselman, we want to thank you in a very special way for your great contribution to our conference, Alan, Anthony, and Alex. Father Jack Timlin, who was their novice director, we want to thank you from Kenya as you are in the Eastern Province. And all the confreres and all the daughters of charity and all of you men and women of goodwill. Asanteni kwa kazi nzuri, tuendele kwa ombe hawa ndugu zetu, tuendele kwa imarisha kwa msaada wetu. Ili waendele kujitolea. Mungu wa kitujalia mwaka ujao mwezi watano. Wawe mashemasi. Wawe mashemasi. And we want in a very, very special way to appreciate our superior general, Father Thomas Maverick. We know that he is present with us and his contribution. Finally, I want to appreciate in a very, very special way Father Edwin Erungu Mugwe, our regional superior, for the animating homily, for presiding over this vows mass and all of you. Asanteni sana, huundio mwisho wa tarifa ya habari, mungu wa wabari. Please, Father Ignatius, uh, just invite Father Edwin. Father Idiyama, wewe unajua hii maneno, asanti sana. In a very, very humbling way, I want to invite our regional superior father, Edwin Irungu Mugwe, to address us. Karibu ba. Karibu padre, karibu baba, asante. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. Nisalimieni. Tumsifu Yesu Christo. Happy New Year. Asante sana, Father Ignatius, Rector and Superior, Wadipole Center. Asante sana, Mapadri, Sabine, uh, Father Wilfred, Father David, uh, Mapadri wa na brother, Mapadri Paul Center, our confreres. Asante ni kwa kufika sikia leo, sisters, daughters of charity, another sisters, na wa Christ wote. Mungu ni muema. Yeah. Na kila wakati. Hongera sana kwa our new conference. Brothers in the congregation, Alex, Anthony, and Alan. Karibuni sana kwa shirika. Hongera sana. Now on behalf of the conference of the regional house. Nasema tunawakaribisha. Na pia tunawakaribisha katika region yetu ya Kenya and soon to be and we pray for the vice province. Asante wazazi wakazi njema ambayo mefanya kulea hawa ndugu zetu na wote ambao wameshiriki eh, kama vile ndugu yetu Alex amesema changu wenu katika malezi na maisha ya utawa. I want to thank you most sincerely our leadership in the congregation for the Thomas Maverick, as the Superior General, Father Thomas McDavid, Father Pat McDavid, our provincial, and Father Esselman, the assistant. We also would like to thank those who have participated in making decisions, the council, provincial council, and also those who have been thinking about their placement in the near future. We pray that good Lord May always bless our brothers and bless our congregation. Tunataka kusema ya kuwa, tunaomba wito wazazi. Tunaomba wito. Tunataka tuwe na manduku wengi mba watashiriki katika haya maisha yetu. Tunao wanafunzi, bali tunataka wengi zaidi. 
and not only in our congregation at the CM, but also in the Daughters of Charity. So participate in our mission, we want to invite you. Participate in our mission. Fanya kazi pamoja, tuweze kweneza injili. Na sio tu siku ya leo, bali siku zote, wherever you be, participate in evangelizing the people of God. Like to uh, encourage our brothers, uh, you know, you are the senior students, mentor the other students, encourage them, and God will show you the way. He will certainly show you the path. He will guide you, and especially uh, through the intercession of our Blessed Mother and our Holy Founder, St. Vincent, St. Louis de Madra, and other Vincentian saints and blessed. May God bless each one of you. Asante ni sana, na tuwe na siku njema. Asante sana. Mokofi, Mokofi, Mokofi. Thank you very much for the evening. In one second, I'll invite uh, Jeff, who will give us the direction after the solemn final blessing so that we can know what follows next. But before uh, Jeff, I'd like to invite the confriars and the Daughters of Charity. After what Jeff will have directed us, we'll be invited to the administration at the common room up there to sign our book for the celebration of our brothers. Karaboni. Tumsefi Yesu Kristu uh, uh, Mpangiliwa ambao na fuata baada ya hapa uh, Tutakuwa na procession ya kutoka uh, Baada ya hapo tutasubiri mafadha waende wa invest uh, Then uh, wakirudi tutaanza uh, chakula Na mafadha wetu pamoja na all religious men and women present Tutaanza kwanza kwa laini uh, pamoja na ndugu zetu Badai sisi wote tajunga na zile lines ambazo ziko hapo Tuko na uh, two stations set for, for our meals Join any queue on your right, on your left uh, Then we take our meals from these tents uh, Mungu wa mani wabarik sana Santeni Asante Jeff, wageni wa Alex Tafadhali mutokuwa kwenye hema hili Wageni wa Anthony kwenye ilo hema Na wageni wa Alan kwenye ilo hema Sasa tutasimama sote kwa baraka za mwisho na nitawalika wale ndugu zetu waweze kujiunga hapa mbele wakapige magoti wanapopokea baraka za mwisho santeni The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessings. May God, the inspirer of every good resolve, foster your purposes and strengthen your heart that what you have promised you may keep with persevering faith. S say amen. amen. May he grant you to hasten to the, in the joy of Christ along the narrow way you have chosen, rejoicing to bear the burdens of your brothers and sisters. Say amen. amen. May the charity of God make, you, make of you a family brought together in the Lord's name to show forth the image of the love of Christ. Say amen. amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you who are gathered for this sacred rite, the Father and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, our mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
picha pamoja picha pamoja alafu tuendelee